Kilify Deputy Governor Gideon Saburi tested positive for coronavirus popularly known as COVID-19, the government confirmed on Sunday, March 22. Saburi will also face prosecution for allegedly refusing to self-isolate after arriving in the country from Germany via Amsterdam on March 6. His refusal sparked the anger of residents and county staff who interacted with him. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe stated that those who came into contact with the patient from Kilify would enter self-isolation. Kilify Governor Amerson Kingi then issued a statement, revealing that he was among those who came into contact with the patient as he further addressed plans to combat the spread of COVID-19 in Kilify. We have already identified all county staff who came into direct contact with the patient and ordered them to go on mandatory self-quarantine for 14 days during which period very close supervision will be undertaken by our trained medical personnel and enforcement officers to ensure strict compliance. The patient has also provided us with the names and contacts of those with whom he had direct contact, the statement read in part. Kingy confirmed that results for his sample taken by medical practitioners had tested negative for COVID-19. I also came into contact with the patient and, as coronavirus protocols demand, I have placed myself on self-quarantine starting Thursday 19 March 2020. I also had the emergency response team visit me at my home to collect specimens for testing. I got my results and they turned negative, he wrote. The governor promised to stay in self-quarantine for the required 14 days despite testing negative. Saburi had reportedly met a group of MCAs on March 7 at Royal Hotel in Mazeras to discuss preparations for International Women's Day celebrations that were to be held in Rabbi. Saburi was also reportedly sighted at a nightclub in Bambury, Mombasa on March 19 and at a restaurant known as Cafessary Mombasa on March 20 alongside his driver. We have some comments from some Kenya but as check please. Wash your hands every time, keep distance, avoid crowded places if possible stay at home. Thanks a lot remember to subscribe and ring the bell don't miss any upload. It's painful but uh, there's no other way we can do it. It's painful. We have gone to quarantine. It's a bit heavy to carry, but it's hard. It's hard. We shook hands with this guy on Monday, 16th, at the office. And then we had another meeting with him somewhere else. And it is me who told the department to take this guy to quarantine and to test him because I felt inside my heart something was wrong. No one could have remembered this thing. Bilal, Anissa, Alio, you see, it was like a joke. But now it has come to reality that our deputy governor is Corona positive thank you Kagwe for saying we'll take him to court let him go he doesn't care about the lives of the people he has infected with this virus he's an animal he's a killer we don't need him anymore how can you sit with the governor and you know you're sick how can you sit with us, shake hands with us, and you know you are sick? The governor told you to go for quarantine for one month. He gave you one month leave to go, but you denied. Animal are you. I'm so bitter about this guy. I have no apology for all these words I'm using. He's never serious in life. You have made us go to, to go off for quarantine. Quarantine is not easy. Quarantine is very expensive. Quarantine, you don't move. You sit in the house. You eat there. 
You don't move outside. You're forced to stay in that house for 14 days. Here you are, you are doing nonsense. We will impeach you, Deputy Governor. We will impeach you. You are useless. Very useless person. How dare give us diseases like this? But yako, saburi, mtai ya mesema utashiko polekwe jela. Ungerudi hapa tungekupura mawe. Live. We don't need you. You are an animal. You are an animal, deputy governor. We don't know our fate. We don't know if we are also victims. We don't know. Our families, our children, our parents. You want to kill everybody.